Before we go fishing, I'll show you a system I've developed over the years. I used to get blocks of chum, but uh, that would mess up the boat. I'd have it all over me and all over the customers and all over everything else. And uh, I was feeding the fish. So that was a problem because they'd eat the chum and then they wouldn't bite what I was offering. So I had to develop something that would work, attract schools of fish, and, uh, and not feed them, keep them hungry. So here's what I came up with. Simply got a mayonnaise jar, and in the jar got a uh, piece of foam and a lead weight. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fill up the jar, or fill up the uh, foam here, with fish oil. Now you can use any kind of attractant. You can use, you can buy this by the gallon, or you can you buy this by the ounce. The cost and what's appropriate totally depends upon you, doesn't make any difference. Okay, we'll put our Menhaden oil onto the sponge and sponge this size will last about a week if I was to load this with a bigger sponge and have it solid and fill it completely up it'll last over a month and I'm just using a stick to make sure that the, it gets good and saturated tied on a length of line now we've got a school of mangrove snapper below the dock and all I'm doing today is to try to keep them uh, around for supper if you know what I mean but when I'm on the boat I'll just tie it onto an old junker clunker reel and then I can lower it down to any depth I want and reel it back up when we're done most of the time the, on the bottom is the most appropriate all right I've tied it off to the bollard we'll drop her in the water here if you look carefully you can see oil coming up to the top. See that bubble? About to hit the surface. There it is. And it dissipated. Two more bubbles coming up. See them? Right together. Now the third one coming up. Now the deeper you put this, the more effective it is, of course. It'll keep fish hanging around at any depth. Good luck with your fishing.